Hey there guys, Jimmy from Glassy Gaming here, bringing you another TF2 video, and with all the recent talk about the most recent update, I know I've already made a video on this, but I want to make another one talking about what I think Valve can do to start fixing some of the problems that people have with this update. Now, Dane and a couple other people have already made videos similar to this, but I want to go over some of my own points that I had. There will probably be some overlap, and I'll try not to like, you know go too in-depth with things that have already been said in like Dane's video and I think Roger made a video too about making TF2 better and whatnot. So it's just like my ways of doing so that I think would work pretty well. First, we're going to talk about the fixes to competitive mode. Firstly, I would like to th say that placement matches are probably the best way to do competitive. You need to have placement matches so you can at least get a general idea of your skill level at the start. Games like CSGO, Dota, Overwatch all have placement matches for their competitive and they give a pretty good idea of where your skill set is. It doesn't just, you know, say, here you go, try and rank up from the bottom. It says, oh, well, maybe you're not at the bottom. Maybe you're actually very high level or maybe you're somewhere in the middle or maybe you are low level. But you're going to find out by doing these placement matches. You're not going to just assume where you're at. You're going to know where you're at. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. And I think Valve needs to maybe take a page from CSGO and Dota, their two most successful games, with probably the two most successful matchmaking systems ever, and start bringing over that code, like how Dane said. And, you know, instead of making something new and different and kind of bad, honestly, for TF2, make something good and or copy something good from, TF, or from Dota 2 and CSGO. I don't know, but placement matches are pretty useful, and I'd say we need them. We also need to do something better when it comes to the abandoned penalty. I understand that right now it's like a cooldown, and you can't join games if you abandon a lot. Here's my thing, though. In order to make a, an abandoned penalty truly potent and good enough that it will, you know, deter people from leaving games, because, I mean, people leave games in every game, and no one can be online 100%. So I understand that you don't want to, like, fuck over someone's game just because something, you know, a mistake happened. But if you see them constantly doing it over and over again, then it may be time to do something more. What I suggest is make abandoned penalties worse. Perhaps something like Dota, where if you leave the game and you don't come back, I'm pretty sure you just lose your rank. You lose MMR. If you come back after leaving then you can maintain your rank. I don't. I think either you do, like if you win, you still gain points, or if you win, you don't gain anything, so you just stay static because you were like abandoned for five minutes or whatever the fuck. But I think that's what needs to be done. You can't just make it so that, oh, you know, they can't play the game anymore. You have to make it so they lose some rating. Maybe not all of it, but, you know, if they keep doing it over and over again, they start to lose big chunks of their MMR, because, you know, they're leavers, and they're ruining the games for people. So, if they want to ruin the games, they can also ruin their rank. And that's just how it goes. Again, not everyone can be online at all times. So, if someone, like, disconnects because their internet goes out or something like that, then the first time penalty won't be that bad. But if it continues to happen, then you know something's up. Fix server finding, which is also something that needs to happen in casual mode. This doesn't really, like, you know, need to be talked about too much. Just, one, fix queue times, and two, make it so that people that, you know, get into servers are getting into servers near them. Don't put my U.S. East ass into fucking Singapore, okay? I don't ever want to play there. Ever. Thanks. Work on banning hackers more. This is pretty simple and kind of goes without saying, but hackers have been running pretty fucking rampant in competitive and casual, so... It's probably time we got rid of them, you know? I mean, I know Valve's trying. I'm sure I'm sure behind the scenes they're trying. But you gotta put a little more effort into it, buddy. I mean, come on. I, I don't know what you gotta do. I'm not, you know, some kind of anti-hack master. But it needs to be done. You have to start really knuckling down on these fuckers because they're ruining your game before it even has a chance to be good. So, get them the fuck out. Next up, we got fixes to casual mode. We need some sort of fix for levers. I understand people don't like auto-balance. I understand that. I didn't like auto-balance either. But unless they either A, make huge drastic improvements to bots, making them a viable option for, you know, missing players, or they make the system that brings in players from the queue into ongoing games a lot more efficient and fast, 
they're going to have to probably bring back Auto Balance. I mean, unless they can find something better, it's got to be one of those three. Either Auto Balance, really good bots that aren't complete garbage, or a substitution system that works a lot better than it currently does, because right now it's just not that great. Work on banning hackers more and fix server finding. Those are both from competitive mode fixes, but they also apply pretty much to casual mode too, because they're also problems that casual mode is plagued with. So it would be nice to fix that valve. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. There's also some, you know, various other problems that can be said. These are just like the immediate problems that I can think of right now. Things that, you know, will happen later on and, and can be talked about later on, but this is what I'm talking about for now. And finally, we have fixes in general. These are like general fixes to the game, not just ca casual, not just competitive, but as, you know, like the game as a whole. First, new content. Start allowing big community projects through. I understand you got a lot to, you know, make nice and optimize. You're trying to optimize everything and adding more shit makes the game even harder to optimize. But we need some more content to hold us over while you fix everything. I know it's hard, but you have a lot of really nice options when it comes to com community projects. I.e. the MVM project, Iron Gauntlet, the Frontline project that has just been announced, and the Mayan project that was announced a little while ago and is pretty much all good to go. I believe they're still working on Frontline, so that will take some time, but you have Iron Gauntlet, you have Mayan, and you probably have some other shit that the community could probably whip up, and honestly, what I think you should do is you should hire these people. Furthermore, we need you guys to do more when it comes to balancing. I know you guys have been testing the waters with various weapon rebalances and class rebalances, and I appreciate that. However, some of your balancing has been kind of questionable, to the point that I think that a lot of people are kind of pissed off at it. And for good reason. You see, some of the changes you made are kind of cool. They change the game's dynamic, they make things look a little bit different and seem a little bit different in, in the gameplay. But some of them are just fucking bizarre, and some of them are stupid, and some of them are bad. What you need to do is you need to gather a bunch of top-level players, not just Banny, not just Slyn, but as many top-level players from 6v6, from Highlander, from UGC to ESEA to fuck you in the assay. Get them as many as you can and talk to them about what they need to do, what you need to do, sorry, to balance your items, your classes, etc. Sure, not everyone is an expert on balance, but if you get a bunch of different opinions, you can pick and choose what makes sense, instead of just kind of holding up a revolver and shooting at whatever you think works, because that ain't working. The, the Russian roulette for uh, updates is not, not working too well, buddies. I'm sorry. It's no bueno. is no bueno. Fucking... Some of the shit you guys have been pulling out of your ass lately has been real fucking bizarre to the point that I just don't know what you're doing when it comes to rebalancing. I understand it's all subject to change, and I appreciate that, but you guys gotta get some, like, legitimate insight before you do this shit, okay? I understand it's your game, but I would probably rather trust the balancing on someone that plays this game full-time, almost professionally, compared to someone that works on the game and doesn't really play it that much because let's be real guys you don't play the game too much but just you know also bring back some of the customization of view models and whatnot i know that's already in the works you guys have already claimed that you're going to be adding the view model slider and that's great good start but uh you need more y you need more you guys got to add more customization in general really to like graphic settings and all this shit but you, you need you need to add that back i understand TF2 players were kind of spoiled because we had all these different options like, oh, you can remove your view model, you can make it kind of transparent if you want, you can move it 50 centimeters off to the left if that's your fucking game, you can do whatever the fuck you want because that was how the game worked for a while. And we got used to that, whereas games like Overwatch and shit like that don't really have that customization. You kind of just have your view model right there, and if you don't like it, suck a dick. Well, unless you really legitimately plan on making everybody play the exact same way, which I kind of hope you don't, you're going to have to bring back some of that customization. Maybe not all of it, maybe not all of it, but some of it for sure. And lastly, probably the biggest point that everyone's been making, and for good reason, you got to be more transparent, you got to communicate more. Now, I know you're trying. I know you're trying. 
And I say this because if you look at how much, you know, transparency and communication we've had as of recent, it's immensely more than what we used to have. I remember way back in the day, you guys were a little bit more communicative. Communicative? Is that a word? Whatever. You guys talked a little bit more to us, and you gave us a lot more personal input. You let us talk to you a little bit more. And then, after a while, you got into this, like, whole, hey, we're only going to tell you what's going on via ARG. And then, uh, you just kind of shut the fuck up. And I, I don't like that. You got to tell us more. You got to... You gotta hold our hands, okay? We're, we're big babies. The TF2 community, I can assure you, even me, big babies. Just real, real big babies. You, you ever see a baby? Okay, they cry a lot and they shit their pants a lot. That's us, only make, make the scale about, I'd say, 13,000 times bigger. That, that would be about how much baby we are. So you need, you need to hold our hands you gotta give us our favorite snacks, and you gotta read us bedtime stories every fucking night, or else we're gonna cry all night long, and you're not gonna get any sleep, Valve. You're not gonna get a fucking lick, a lick of sleep. So please, just talk to us, okay? We're, we're somewhat, we're somewhat social, okay? We're not totally introverted. You gotta talk to us a little bit, you know, like, like the stern step-parent. Okay, you gotta talk to us a little bit. Don't beat us, just talk to us. Thank you. That's all for now. I... Those are just my ways of, of helping things get better. Again, I like the update. I think it's got a lot of potential. I just think some of it was kind of fucked up. I think that the delivery was kind of... And I think you could have done a lot better. But your Valve, I know what to expect. And I know that what usually happens is... You try to put something out, fucks up, and you spend the rest of like the month fixing it. That's fine. Do your thing. Just please... Think about this before you do the next thing, okay? I love you. Thank you, Valve. Doing great, kind of, sort of. Trying your best. And a, uh, B plus for effort, okay? If I, had, if I had, like, a silver star sticker, right on your forehead. Right on your forehead, Valve. Uh, silver star. B plus, okay? Could be an A. Could could be an A. I just bumped my mic. Could be an A. But it's not. But it's close. It's close. And you're, you're doing your best. This is a real hard video to me. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and listening. I love you. I love Valve. TF2 is fucky, but I still love the game. GG. Peace the fuck out.